Hi guys, welcome to tonight's flight here on the channel as we're with the Airbus A300 and we're down in Bucharest and we're going to be doing a flight to Avra Airport which is around 40 minutes away. We're going to be going for a flight level of 240 and we're going to be departing out runway 08 right. We've got ground tower, uh, we might have centre but we've got ground and tower for our departure and it uh, should be a good flight today. So we're leaving out on the uh, Bukel 1 Kilo and we've got this big A300 for Tarim, with a lovely Tarim livery to take out. And we've got the snow for Sam Seasons as well, since it is Christmas, so we'll get the snow in. So don't forget to like and subscribe guys, leave your comments down below. And now we'll get into the cockpit and start the aircraft up, ready for our departure out of Bucharest. Okay, so we're in the A300 cockpit. So we've got our batteries which are on. We can go over here and put our external power on. Get our spoiler and speed brakes on with our rudder travel and pitch fill get our hydraulics on as well as we come down. We can turn on our dome for now or we can just leave that to uh, dim. Put on our seat belts, put the no smokings on as well. We can go over and get the IRS's aligned as well. So we'll put number one on, number two and number three with our vents. From there we'll carry on going down as we'll wear uh, our isolation valves on the fuel side hold on turn our pumps when we need, we'll get the isolation valves over on the air cons and we'll get our packs on along with the bleeds. Once the APU comes to life, we can start that all up. Turn the APU gen on as well and we'll get our probe heats on as well as it's probably a little bit cold. So everything's all getting done there. We're we'll going to the FMC and get our route. So we're going from Lima Romeo Oscar Papa and our arrival is Lima Romeo Charlie Lima. Okay, so we've got that in line the IRS. Flight level is 240. Cost index is 66. Flight ID, we'll just say that we are uh, maybe a Tarum. So we are going for Romeo Oscar Tango. Okay, we'll go in and get our winds for 240 as well before we put the flight plan in. Okay, we'll click that. So 317009. Okay, so we're going to do the VOR approach today, so we'll do it manually with the v, uh, vertical speed. We use the uh, VOR lock to lock us in for the VOR approach for the Airbus, and then we'll uh, use our vertical speed to come down with the uh, charts that we've got as well, which will be uh, pretty good, so we can see what that's like, see how the Airbus handles. We'll go by uh, all the charts, the ten us we'll go by the DME for our altitude. So, we're going to our uh, flight plan now. Actually, before we do that, in our weights. So our weight that we've got down for today is zero fuel it is 120.3. We've got block of 13.2 and we're going to be using 10.8 tons. Okay, which is set. Takeoff gross weight is 130.7, which we can use. Center of gravity is 30.0, which is all set. And then from there, we'll go to the flight plan. On our sit out, we're going to be taking 08 right, which is on the ATIS, and we're going for the Bukel 1 kilo. So we'll get the route now. And then from Bucal, let's just get that back. Okay, so we'll insert that. Go to Bucal, this is where we're going to take the Lima 619, which is going to take us to uh, Edetta. So if we take out the intercept. And then we can see that when we join paths again, there's our arc that's going to bring us in. 
and then we'll come back on the 073. So it should be quite good. It should be quite fun. So we're going our overhead, we've got the APU on now, we can get our pumps on. We'll do our takeoff in just a moment. So fuel pumps are now on, the APU bleed has come over so we can turn off the external, we can on the emergency lights which are checked. Everything's all done there, let's go into our takeoff. So let's get our takeoff path. Actually we can tell everyone that we are done here now, so we can remove everything. Okay, so everything is now removed. So we're going to get our takeoff path. So takeoff weight. Is 133.5. Okay. Going from Lima Romeo Oscar Papa. And we're going on for runway 08 right, which is check. Okay, so we've got 166, 169. For V2, we've got 171. We've got our pitch trim now, and our yaw damper would be ATS. So we've got 171, which is set. Everything else will be all uh, set once we depart. We've got flex tempo 49. So we haven't done flex at 49 yet. Okay, there's flex 49, which is set. So the aircraft is pretty much now all ready to go. We'll turn off the anti-ice before we go. We can turn off the wing anti-ice. So we are now practically all ready to go. We've got the flight directors already on. We'll set everything up after we uh, contact the ground and then we can get our departure all set ready to go so we've got our radios here as well which we can just move across there we go let's just do these properly okay so we've gone to our radios now which is for ground, we've got one to one seven zero zero. Okay, seven zero zero, which is on, which is set. We've got our radios on as well, so we can call in for a uh, radio check. Low so ground, Taran two two five, radio check. Taran two two five, two five five. Okay, so he reads me 5x5, five five. so what we can do is we can go and ask him for clearance and we'll just get a new lot of ATIS just to be on the safe side. So info uniform which is still there, our Q&H is 1030 which it was, which is set, so we can put 1030 in. So everything looks uh, looks all according as we had two ATISs, so we've got information uniform. Transition level is 5000, which is already set. We've got 5000, so 1030. Let's move the uh, yoke a minute. That's 1030. And we'll do our first officer side. Okay, so we are now all ready to go, so we can put on our beacon, get nav to number one. Let's turn our wing lights because it just lights the wings up anyway and these are nice big engines as we're using the uh, Pratt & Whitney's today. It should be a uh, good fun for us to do, so we can uh, reset the line, the control. Obviously when we disconnect the autopilot we would uh, click that button to disengage it and that also knocks out the warning sign that you'd have and then for the auto throttle it would just be uh, one of them just to stop it from uh, coming so we are uh, all set to go we'll get our score code and everything and 
the uh, tower node that we're going. We are still on 08 right, 08 right's in use, so we've also got tower as well. So we'll call into ground and we'll let them know where we are. Hello ground, tower room 225 to stand 111, with information uniform, request IFR clearance to Avra Airport. Ground 225, your code to destination, book L1, Kilo departure, uh, runway 08 right, initial climb flight level 240, that will be your final climb as well, and uh, squawk 4007. We're cleared for the uh, Bukel 1 Kilo departure for runway 08 right. We'll climb for flight level 240, which is our flight level anyway, and we'll squawk 4007. It's Taram 225. Taram 225, you've got correct. Call uh, them ready for push. Call them ready for push, Taram 225. Okay, so we'll call them ready for push. We'll put 4007 in. So just get that all ready. 4007, which is set. And we'll put that to standby, which is cool. So everything's all good there. We can put the tower in as well, which is 120900. Okay, so 120900. So as the aircraft is all ready now for us to uh, go, we can basically get the aircraft all set. So 240 is where we was going all the way up as our initial and it is our flight level as well so we're just going to go straight up to uh, 240 we can have a look at our SID as well before we do get clearance so on our SID the Bikel 1 Kilo we're going to come out on the 079 which we can also put in now and then from the 079 we'll make a left turn onto the 349 MAX 270 knots and by the time we get to BK, we need to be a flight level 110. So we're all, uh, we'll be up by then, which is fine. And whilst we do make our entrance out, we can see that we're all good to go. So we're coming in for the uh, VOR approach. And we can now call the tug so we can uh, get out of it. Taram 225, ready for push and start. Push and start to approve face west, QNH is uh, 1030. Push and start facing west, QNH 1030, Terra 225. Okay, so we are going to take the India, everything that is all there and set to go. There's our arrival out, 270 max before we uh, take on to the 346. Also got tower, which is already here as well, which is one two zero nine, and we've got the two sensors. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Okay, so he's ready to connect, and then we can push back. So we're going to be facing that way. So out this back window, we're going to take India, and then join on to Alpha, and then there is the start of the runway right there. So one zero three zero, which we've got already set in going for a flap so we can get the AVI tab to send that over, so we'll send that data over, send that over to the FMC, to receive the company data, 171 which is correct, so we're all good to go. So connected and bypass pin inserted, release parking brake. Okay, so release parking brake. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. Thank you very much. So, what we'll do is we'll go for engine number two.
so we'll go for engine number one now. So start valve will be open. There's N2 increasing, oil pressure will climb and we will then see how EGT starts to rise once we inject the fuel to come in. So inject the fuel. And we'll watch engine number one now spool up. Operation complete. That's parking brake. Disconnecting tow, stand by. Okay, chisel set. Put the ignitions to off now, which will feed the packs back on. Okay, now turn the APU bleed off with the APU. Chisel set, we can turn our engine anti ices as well. Uh, we just need to update this as well as we've got engine and wing. Okay, and then compute that up for us. Okay, flex 44. Okay. Okay, flex 44. So, tug's now going to leave. And we'll be ready to depart. So, we'll get our... Tow is disconnected start. and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the right. We'll see you next time and have a great flight. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Tarot 225, we're ready for taxi. Tarot 225, taxi holding point 108 right via India and Alpha. Taxi to holding point via uh, 08 right, we're going via India and Alpha, Tarot 225. Okay, so we'll drop our flap. As we come down, we know which direction we're going. And we've got tower already in, so we can switch over frequencies when we do get to the hold. Okay, that was just the throttles. So, we're all ready to go now. So, we'll put on our uh, taxi lights to on, which are set. Now we've got our nabs on, which are fine. Everything overhead is all good. Lights out. We're all set up here. We can turn on our nav and profile. And we can now uh, disconnect the brake. And off we go. So we're going to now taxi down. So we're on way 08 right, we're doing flex 44. Now we've got the anti ice on. All this part, if we had it off, it would have been flex 49. Have a look on our departure before we make that left turn. 83,000, then in 10,000 straight up, so that's fine. We'll go straight up onto the climb. Get our weather actually up as well. There we go. So we take a left now on to India. And we get our uh, TA on. There we go. Tower, which is one two zero decimal nine zero. There we go. So before we turn on to Alpha, we'll get some sort of lighting up in here.
225 sadly no further ATC available, Unicorn 12 decimal 8, have a nice flight and a nice uh, Christmas. Well, it's Unicorn 122 decimal 8, you have a nice Christmas too, bye bye. So, we're going to now uh, take off onto the Unicorn and uh, yeah, off we go. So we're we'll monitoring Unicom as tower went offline now. Okay, so we're going to line up. Got on our landing lights as we have been cleared for takeoff. Got on our beacon, strobes can go on, taxi to takeoff, naps can go to number two. Tell the cabin that we are ready to go now. And we'll do a roll in takeoff, I think. Okay. So, power up. So, brake can go to max, and we can now go to Toga. So we track our slats now as we start to climb up to 240. So it'll be cleared direct up as well, which is fine. So as we now come through the clouds. So climb up through uh, 5,000 feet now, we can go to standard Q&H, and yeah, we'll set this one back to as well. So 1013299 which is set, now we're going to do the Q&H on the first officers, which is set as well. So we're now cruising up to 270's max, so as we are now 6,000 feet, 250 is fine for us to now start to speed up to. Flaps are retracted, also brakes off. The gear now can be turned off as well. Passing through 7,200 feet, we're going to go into that left turn now. As the aircraft makes them lovely big banks to the left. Engine and anti-ice is on. And we're coming in for the 07 VOR approach. We'll be uh, doing the VOR manually as well as we come in. So as we did the flight plan earlier, Erlip will come around the arc 4,000 feet is where we'll end up levelling off and then we start our approach 13.9 DME, that's where we make our descent and we'll follow the altitude from the uh, CLJ DME all the way down to our minimums and we'll disconnect and get the aircraft all ready to come in. 
So it should be a good flight. Passing through 9,700 feet now, as soon as we pass 10,000. Can then go up, so 10,000 feet. Can now turn our nose off. Landing lights can go off with our runway turn offs. Leave our, everything else can stay on as is. And seat belts, we turn the seat belts off now. And everyone can go to the toilet. So we've got air tonight. And then we're going to uh, basically make a left turn. So as we are now nearly near our top of climb, 240, we've got QNHs over to standard, everything's all uh, fine. We can now tell the aircraft to increase its speed to 320. And we can go to our landing, uh, takeoff cinematics now, guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe, leave your comments down below. And I'll see you when we're back in the flight deck, ready for our top of descent to come in for Everett Airport for the VOR approach, runway 07. So, I'll see you guys in just a sec. Hi guys, welcome back to the flight deck. As you can see, we're 32 miles away from Edetta, which is the start of our start, which we can see right here. So, as the FMC hasn't uh, put any restraints in hardly, I put the restraints in manually, so flight level 90 from Edetta, all the way up to uh, Targu, NDB, and then we get to the uh, Charlie Lima Juliet the Kluge Napoca VOR which is where we're going to pass over flight number 90 as we get to the parker we're basically going to go down for 6,300 and then 5,100 feet on the turn so if we go on to plan and we have a little look here we can see that we're down by a neck up we're going to start descending now to a flight level 900 and we're slowly over up down to the 250. We'll be able to watch when we come in to a data. We'll be right here as we come in. So we can start to lower everything down. What we can also do is we'll get the VORs ready. So as we can see, we need the uh, Lapoca VOR, which is the 111 at the Two, so I'm going to switch both VORs on and get them set up on both sides. So that is the 111 decimal 2, which is set. Now. Okay. 
073 and the 11120. So as we can see now, we've got the airport's VOR pretty much, or the Napoca VOR, 85 miles away. And that is what we are going to use in order to come down here. So if we get out, we're going to get that all set up as well. So landing config 30 slats, 40 flaps, 143. Okay, so we'll aim for around about 7, 770. We'll start the descent at around 900 feet. So then we can uh, get a heads up on the glide slope as we uh, do come in. So we've now entered a debtor, which is now right here. There's a debtor as we come in. Let me make that left turn onto a debtor. So now we're going to be heading on to the 267. Okay, which is set. 9,000 was at uh, a debtor. We're going to stay at flight level 90 all the way down. So we get to Erlup, where by the time we get to Clutch Napoca, will then be our initial approach fix where we will make the arrival in for zero seven. So it should be all nice. Come down to five zero. Speed's fine as well. in the FMC, I pull it to uh, 240, so when we're ready we can go down into uh, into profile mode, if we really want to, we can try that out before we uh, set the VOR up. Down to 250. So just ready now to turn on to the uh, 004. So as we were saying, for our arrival, we'll have this up as well, so we can uh, keep a look at it on our way. So I'll write down the speeds so that we don't have to have the box up when we come down. So we've got 13 DME. Six and 
13 Dumi is 3715, 3397, 2760 for 11 Dumi. Missed approach points 5.5 Dumi from the airport. 9.6 is 26.32. Endumi is two seven sixty. And eleven is a three zero seven eight. So everything should uh, be all right, all good to go. We've got that all set. Coming in for around for our 140, which was a 143, I think, a 142, and we're taking slats 30, flaps 40. So we've got a 142 in, which is basically going to be seven, around 750, 760. So we're going to go for around. We'll start our descent at 800 feet or 900 feet initially and then once we get down to 12 DME we'll then monitor the uh, descent and then put it back to uh, draw us back just like what the glide slope would do on the ILS it'll drop down and then it will level itself off to get on the glide path. So coming in now uh, coming on towards Ibdis where we are four nautical miles away. And then we go up to a tire view, take the golf mic, where we'll come round max 250 knots, which we are doing, which is fine. So the aircraft's pretty much uh, all set to come in. Still currently on the uh, 004. So we're just getting ready to head on to a left onto the uh, 275. Okay. Which would be the 095 radial from uh, Klug. Uh, as we have that track up. 6,003. So we're down to 4,000 now. And until the aircraft starts sending. So you see, we're going to hit the uh, Klugnapoka BOL, which is the airport's BOL. We're just going to deviate onto the 282, which is merely 7 degrees to the right. We'll be at 6,300 feet. We'll come round onto the arc. 22.7 DME arc from Clutch and then we'll make our initial fix and come in, activate the VOR lock. So we've got the VOR on the left side, we've got the VOR on, on the right side, we've got the 111.2 which is on both VORs and the 073 degree course for us to come in. Now when we come in as we said, 4,013.9 DME from the airport is where we are going to start our descent down where we'll use the uh, vertical speed window to bring us down. And for the missed approach it is 6,300. Okay, so there's 7,000. Can knock the Q and H user back in now. Is it 30?
1030. And we'll go ahead and knock the other one in as well. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the 282. Q&H is our set now. Ready for us to come in on the VOR approach. So as we head up, we are currently now heading up on the 282 to Libu. Only to be at 6003. So we're going uh, to profile mode now as we need to level off at 6003, already programmed the FMC to uh, its fixes, the fixes aren't set in here, so we've got 4000 which is originally set, we've got the 5001 which is on the initial fixed term, and we've got 6003 where we're uh, just at the uniform, which is right here, where we're then going to make the left turn and come down to 5001, so everything's all, uh, all calculated and ready to go. So currently now still heading on the 282 and there's a Libu as we're now going up to the Delta 282 uniform which is where we will then come down just near to our initial fix here at 5100 feet and then we can get everything all activated. So, cabin crew prepare for landing. So, one degree. Fuel tanks are minus four. Total fuel is 8.4. Our gross weight is 128.7 tons. Okay, it's 230. We're in profile mode now. And by the time we get to uh, 4,162, so that's fine as well. But we'll trust the aircraft and we'll uh, follow its uh, path. Here we come now. Onto our last left before our final left turn. So this is going to take us on to the final fix of 073. So I'm just going to put 073 in. Okay, which is set and the 111 decimal 2 which is fully configured and set so we should have been at 6003 I'm going to leave it in profile So right now we're just heading through 4,005, we're going to level off at 4,000 feet. Okay, as you can see, we'll be ready to insert for the uh, UR. So step 4000, so now we're starting to get our approach ready here to go. So, we've got our auto brake, which we can set to medium. We've got the uh, QHs, which is 1030. We've got our slats 30, flaps 40 as we fly around and as we go to the ILS we've got our speeds and everything all set we're going for 142 on the approach so what we're going to do is now we're going to start to get the aircraft all configured so we'll drop our slats now come down to 200 okay, we'll turn our storm off as well now 
Okay, it's all set to come in. Back to the aircraft, interlocks around. And then we'll be all set to go. So, cabin crew prepare for landing. 4,000 feet, 13.9 BME away is where we start our descent, which will be roughly around here. And we're going to be coming in down for 473, we said around about 760, 770. We'll start the initial descent for around about 900 feet. So there's VOR long, so we'll activate that now. There's VOR that's come up now on our system. So we've got down now to our flaps 15. Okay, 13.9 DME. We're going to start to make the descent down into the runway. You can see we've got the BOR lock in which is set, of course is 073, which is correct. We've got the VOR showing approach on the uh, MCP, so we've captured the VOR. And we are ready to come in for the approach. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to our flaps 40, drop our gear now, and start to slow the aircraft down. Now for 145 and 13.9 DME now, so we'll get the aircraft all down. There we go. So that will start a descent. 13.9 DME, 900 feet. Flaps 40, slats 30, which are coming down now. We are now leaving. 13 DME, we need to be at 3,750. We're going to wait for the first mile if we're on point, then we can lower it back down to leave it at 800 feet. So 3715 for 13. So just a little, we'll keep it here now for the next mile. Passing through 12.6 DME. For 12 DME, we need to be 3,397. Okay, it's 12.1 and 12 DME, so pretty much bang on for now. We'll leave it now for 11 DME, which is 3,078. Flaps are down, auto brake is set to medium. 11.4 DME, 3,078 feet. So now we can ease back now and we can go up. So we'll lift up now to 800 feet, which is fine. So 3,000, 3,078, 10 DME, 2,760, got the airport in sight, so 2,760, so we just want it here, 10 DME, 2,760, so we'll just pretty much bang on profile, and then we've got 9.6, which is 2632, so now we can lower it back down to 7. You can see 2 red, 2 white, as we are coming down stable now. 9 DME, 2441, 9.2, 9.1, so just around 30 odd feet out. So, what we can do now is, as we are established and stabilized, gears down 3 green. Speed brake is set, so we'll disconnect the autopilot and disconnect the auto throttle. And now I have control of the aircraft. So we'll move over to make that left turn. Okay. Let's have left 
time now. We can retract the speed brake, the flaps back in, and we'll do a turn right here. There's no point going down to the end. There we go, brake her off. And there we are, guys, down in the Avra Airport. Hope you enjoyed the VOR approach. Taxi onto the gate. So we'll take the left turn now off of the taxiway. And now we've left the runway. Currently entering Golf. There we've got the stands right in front of us. So take the brakes off. We can uh, turn off our landing lights. From where turn offs can go off. Turn on now to number one. Wings can stay on. We'll leave our strobes off. Beacon can stay on. And we'll put our nose to taxi. So, there we are now, guys. We can now go to our uh, takeoff cinematics and uh, our landing cinematics, should I say. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. Help us get to that 2,000 subscriber goals. We appreciate everybody's help and support to the channel over the last year. Thanks for everything. And we will. Uh, now get into them lovely landing cinematics. So I'll see you guys when we get back.
and there we are guys down in Avra Airport for the flight of the evening. Don't forget to like and subscribe with your comments down below and I'll see you all very soon for the next variable flight on the channel. So I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.